All right. Hey, everybody. This is Linda with the uh, Connecticut Real Estate Investors Association, and um, so glad that uh, you can join me. Um, and Al, I, uh, let me just uh, – let me see. Al Murphy, please log in again or turn, turn up your speakers or call in. Okay, good. So we can, hopefully you all can hear me. All right, all right everybody. So uh, th- my name is Linda. I'm with the Connecticut Real Estate Investors Association. I know that uh, almost all of you have attended an event in the last month or so, which I'm really excited about. And uh, 2014 I am very optimistic about. I'm seeing lots of good uh, – it's just a good time to invest in real estate. Prices are coming back up. Uh, rental market is really, really tight, which means that if you have an apartment in a good neighborhood and you take care of it well and you manage it well, you should have no problems getting uh, tenants in there because uh, we're like the tightest rental market in the United States going on right now in greater New Haven and greater Hartford. So, And then prices are going up. I'm talking to our rehabbers, and the rehabbers are saying, okay, when I bought the property, I figured I'd be able to sell it for this price. And six months later, they're actually able to sell it for more. So, uh, that, so that's a really great thing, right? Um, but, you know, it, the market is still really shaky. You still can make mistakes. Unfortunately, you know, you really do need to know what you're talking about um, before you invest in real estate because, you know, it's a sizable investment. So that's what we want to go over. So, and obviously, you have some really great goals for 2014. I would love to hear about them. You can send me an email to Linda at ctria.com. would love to hear what your goals are. But um, we want to get back to basics, and really uh, that's the thing about real estate, especially when it's kind of going up, going down, going up, going down. We want to make sure that you really know what you're talking about. And so uh, that's what I wanted to go for here. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, uh, we want to really get you down back to basics because too many times investors kind of – you know, wing it. They just kind of guesstimate about what's going to happen. In fact, I was looking at a property that was brought to me by a wholesaler, and when I looked at the numbers, um, I really felt like I had to pay $40,000 less than what he wanted for the property. And when I looked at, you know, what he was, he was, you know, advertising that I could make $32,000 on the rehab, but he left out a whole lot of parts of the numbers that you have to calculate uh, when you're rehabbing a property. And so if you don't know what you're doing, if you're just reading the hype or just reading an email from Craigslist, you could seriously lose some money. So we don't want you to do that, obviously. So uh, so in this three-part workshop that's starting tomorrow night, Find It, Fix It, Flip It, or Keep It, what I realized is I shared a lot about it at the last meeting, but I'm not sure I really got across how much you can really learn from this program and what kind of a difference this program can really make for you. So that's what I wanted to get into tonight. So we're going to talk about primarily wholesaling, right? We're going to be talking about rehabbing properties. And then we're going to talk about your exit strategy, which is are you going to sell it quickly or are you going to hold on to it for long-term income? So you may want to write that down because this is the game plan for real estate. Wholesaling, rehabbing, which rehabbing, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, it is two different types of rehabbing, and then are you going to sell it quickly um, for that big check, or are you going to hold it for long-term income and long-term wealth? So, and then we want, and then we're going to give you the tools so that you can make that decision, so that you can be you take the emotion out of it, and uh, and then really be smart about real estate. So that's what I want to go into. So when you're talking about real estate, this is kind of the basic skills that you want to have. This is kind of the the game plan that most people go into. So the first one, as you can see here, the wholesaling part, let me explain what wholesaling means because I think you know, but I just want to explain it. So wholesaling is when you buy something for one price and you sell it for another one without having to do any work to it, okay? And that's the simplistic version of it. So say you're able to put a property under contract for 100000 but you're able to sell it to a rehabber for $110,000, the rehabber will go ahead and put in their thirty dollars or $40,000 worth of work, and then they'll sell it for, say, $200,000 or $225,000, right? They're going to pay you $10,000 for finding that property. And why would they pay that for you? 
Well, when you're a rehabber, you're constantly working on the properties. You don't have time to do the marketing. You don't have time to do the negotiation. You don't have time to go driving around looking at potential dogs. So they would be thrilled to pay you as a wholesaler to find them the properties. And I'll tell you a big secret, because a lot of people are really nervous about making offers. And obviously, if you don't make offers, you don't get paid. But every single month, wholesalers come to me and they say, where are, you know, rehabbers come to me and they say, where are the wholesalers? I can't find any deals. In fact, I'm on LinkedIn, and one of our rehabbers wrote to me and she says, please help me. <laughs> I can't find any properties. You know, it, the wholesale deals aren't good enough for me. I can't make any money. You know, the ones that I'm finding are on the MLS, but there's too much competition going on right now in the MLS. So please, please, please help me uh, find the wholesalers. So I want you to know that, and I really want to hammer it in, because when you're brand spanking new about this, you're, a lot of times you're afraid to make an offer. You're afraid to promise somebody that you can resell the property. But when you can't, uh, but these guys are looking for it. So, in fact, this <coughs> came from Anna today. And, um, and, by the way, if you wouldn't mind, just press star six to mute yourself out. That would be fab. Um, but here's it from Anna. It says, could you recommend reputable bird doggers and wholesalers? I have yet to meet or email someone who can bring us good deals. There are so many abandoned signs, and when you call and let them know you're a cash-buying investor, the deals are next to nothing. We are wondering if they're actually getting deals under contract or playing fake it until you make it and calling themselves real estate investors. It's frustrating and a waste of our time. So if you get trained on how to do this, this will really make a difference for the entire community, plus like I said, you can make up to, say, $10,000. Actually, you can make as much as you want to. Um, that, that's totally up to you. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Uh, you know, you can, uh, whatever you can demand, uh, that's what you want to do with it, that whole, uh, with, and we're going to show you how to do that. Now, obviously, if all you're doing is uh, sending over an address, that's not gonna, they're not going to pay you that much. But if you package the deal up, if you say, listen, it's going to cost this much money to re rehab the property, it's going to cost this much to, um, and by the way, I've negotiated owner financing, well, you can bet your, you know, you know what, that somebody's going to pay you quite a bit of money. I've been paid up to $50,000. I know somebody's been paid $100,000 for putting some for wholesaling properties. So, I, um, so that's the deal. Now, the other side of it is, what if you're just getting started? What if all you're doing is you don't really know what you're doing, you don't know how to estimate repairs yet, and, um, but you're doing some marketing, you're putting out those banded signs. Um, what if somebody paid you $500 for finding that property? Just 500 bucks. Well, most people, on average, make $500 net or less a week. So you could replace an entire week of your income just by finding one wholesale deal. The more you get better at this thing, at negotiating and estimating repairs and packaging these up, the more money you can make. Okay? So, um, so that's, where, that's where you're starting with wholesaling. And now, wholesaling, a lot of times people start when they're beginners because you could lock up a property for 100 bucks. Totally, I, I locked up a million-dollar property for $100. I put it under contract. I got an option on it. And then I auctioned the property off. I made about $15,000 um, from a property that was a million dollars. Again, I was brand new, didn't know a whole lot about what I was doing, didn't, wasn't secure in my, uh, you know, my negotiation skills, but I locked it up for $100. So how about you? What can you do? So the other thing is this, is that once you master marketing, and if you really love marketing, you will have so many deals coming at you, you won't know what to do about it, and you'll have more deals than you can purchase. So what this will allow you to do is to um, cherry pick, keep the ones that you want to keep, and then get the rest of them, um, uh, you know, to uh, you know, do the rest of them on a less expensive way. So uh, hopefully that makes sense on the wholesaling side. Just one second here. Um, okay. All right. Then the next piece is the whole retailing side. And, um, somebody just joined us on the call. If you could just mute yourself out, that would be fabulous. At least I can do it here. Okay, I think I just did it. Okay, perfect. And here's another one.
Okay, good. So the next piece of this is retail. Now, retail obviously means you're going to rehab a property and you're going to sell it to somebody. Usually you're selling it to a first-time home buyer, right? That's the biggest market right now, and it's the biggest market because that's where the money is. If you talk to banks, the, there's a lot of mortgage programs out there for first-time home buyers. Um, obviously, you can retail at any at any market. You know, uh, we just had a whole uh, we just had a rehab subgroup in Wilton. The property is selling for seven hundred thirty thousand dollars or something like that. But anyway, so retail. So you're getting the property under contract. You've got to have the skills of being able to estimate the repairs. You need to be able to work with contractors and manage the job on time. And then you need to be able to sell it in a timely fashion. And part of that is staging it, by the way. And so you're going to retail it to an end buyer. So, and that's where your big checks come, your big original checks. So Joanne and Luke, uh, they coach with me. They did a two-family house. They made a quite, you know, high five-figure profit on a two-family house. Um, and they were – now, their ex, other exit strategy, would, they could have held on to it and rented it out. So, but the retail part of it is when you're packaging it up and you're selling it. So the good news about that is that you make big checks, 30000 to 50000 to $100,000 or more. The bad news is that it's considered ordinary income, so you're going to pay taxes on that. So you've got to keep that in mind, right? So once you learn retail, and that's a great way to build up your reserves and to pay off all those bills and to replace your income from your job, now what you want to do is go into rentals. And here in Connecticut, a lot of people go into rentals right away because they can get a two-family or three-family or four-family house very easily and get that positive income. And we call rentals the ideal, ideal investment because you're making monthly income, cash flow, right? So you have the rents coming in, you have your expenses going out, and then hopefully you're making at least $200 a door. And some people now are making $400 and $500 a door. So we hope that you can do that. And then, um, and then uh, the next thing is you get to depreciate the building. So you usually get to depreciate the building over 30 years, 29 and a half to 30 years. Now that may change, right? So, uh, but right now that's where it is at. So what that means is that you can be making a profit every month, but you get to depreciate a 30th of your building on your taxes. And many, many landlords hardly ever pay taxes because of this depreciation, right? The other thing is that as everybody is paying their month, their money, um, paying down the, they're paying their bills, they're paying down the mortgage. Uh, you're increasing the equity of your property because you're paying down the mortgage, and you're increasing the equity of the property. Well, guess who's paying for that? Of, of course, your tenants are, <laughs> right? And then you have appreciation. So over time, uh, real estate appreciates. You know, historically, over a long period of time, it appreciates five percent a year. Sometimes it goes up a lot more, sometimes it goes down, but you want to keep the long, haul, the long view of this one, right? So rental, uh, and then leveraging, that's the last thing is in, with leveraging, you could put down 10%, 25%, even 50%, and then you own 100% of the building, whereas the stock, you have to pay for it 100%. So that's why we call it ideal rental, is rentals are in ideal. And then once you get to a position of having money, you may want to become a private lender. And in fact, some people I know never own a piece of property. They go right to being a private lender. But you definitely want to be educated about the investments that you're investing in um, so that you don't lose money. Because can you lose money? Sure, you can if you don't know what you're investing in. So this is kind of the real estate skills that you want to have. And this is what we're going to cover over the next three weeks in a lot more detail. Okay? So... The other thing is we're going to teach you real estate skills. So as far as real estate skills, I'm going to go through those. We're going to teach you a lot about marketing because if you know how to market, you're going to be able to cherry pick your deals. And then we're going to show you some skills around business mastery because real estate is a business. So a lot of you already have your own business, and we're going to teach you how to be a better business person just by being in this program. But no matter what, you've got to say that being in real estate is being in a business, so we're going to teach you how to do that. Let me just talk about marketing, mostly because it's my favorite thing to talk about. So this is what we call the marketing funnel, and at the top is where you put all of your leads. So what it says here is you're going to advertise, you're going to uh, research online and offline, you're going to get referrals from people, you're going to be networking. All of these are going to direct leads and then uh, and come into the top of your funnel. 
Then the next step is you're going to start interviewing people. You're going to be uh, and finding out, you know, what what are the best deals out there. And this way you're converting what we call suspects into prospects. And then out here, this is where a real lead comes and then because it's a good deal. You know, the seller is motivated, the financing is motivated, the property is a mess. This becomes a real lead. Now it becomes an opportunity for you to make an offer. And, of course, the offer is the negotiation part, and this is what's really, really critical. You know, we just had a coaching student. She bought three condo units, and she only had to bring $1,700 to the closing. <laughs> it, they are fully rented. There is no renovation that needs to be done. In this case, the owner owned them free and clear, but he owned a lot, owed a lot of money to the homeowners association, and he owed a lot of money on property taxes. So because she was able to negotiate, she had many conversations with the owner. She had many conversations with the homeowners association and with the city. She's working out being able to make payments over time so that when she p- took over those properties, and they're worth about $75,000, $75,000, she only had to bring $1,700 to the closing, and she'll be paying off those past debts over the months to come. Isn't that amazing? But that comes from your skills of being able to negotiate. So that's another piece of this whole thing. These are the business mastery skills that we were talking about. We have business planning and you know, setting your goals, setting your action plans, and taking action. Entity structuring and optimization. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, because, quite frankly, we find that a lot of people, when they start this business, they spend way too much time worrying about the entity, that they, how to structure it, when they don't have any entity that they have to structure. A lot of this can be done at the closing of your first deal. Okay? So we'll talk about it a little bit, but we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. But here, we're going to be talking about your dream team, because uh, real estate is a contact business. You're going to want to have a team of people supporting you um, on the acquisition side, on the renovation side and on the sales side, all of that. So we're going to be, these are all considered business mastery skills. And, and like I said, if you have your own business, you're going to learn a lot about how to manage your own business as well as your real estate business. So let's talk about what you're going to learn. So I'm going to give you a lead generation machine tomorrow night. I'm going to give you 12 ways of marketing for deals, most of which cost you hardly any money at all. If you really, um, and then we're going to run a contest. And over the next seven days, some people will come in with 50 leads, seriously. So, And out of those 50 leads, some people actually buy a property right then and there. So, uh, so tomorrow night, plan on learning a lot about marketing and plan on taking action. Okay? So that's the first thing that we want to talk about. So the other thing is, so that's number one. Let me just, sorry, I'm in my office and open, unlocking the door. <laughs> so the next thing is, we're going to show you how to work with realtors. We, there's a lot of things you can do without realtors, but let's face it, um, 90% of people go to a realtor at some point in their buying process. So we're going to show you how to um, build rela- rapport with realtors on the buying side and then again on the selling side. And by the way, you may not use the same realtor on both the buying side and the selling side, so that's going to be up for you. So, and there's some really good realtors with, um, uh, you know, that you'll meet through real estate. And then um, there's, you know, through CT RIA. And you want to be able to determine that, you know, what's gonna, what, what realtor is really going to help you and which ones you should bypass, okay? Then we're going to show you how to find the great investment properties. We're going to show you how to spot the cash cow deals that only trained eyes see because we're going to show you how to um, evaluate the numbers. We're going to spend a lot of time on that. We're also going to show you how to inspect the pro- – oh, by the way, on the numbers, we're going to distinguish between what are the numbers for uh, buying, fixing, and selling and the numbers that you need to evaluate for buying and holding. They are two different types of numbers, and based on your exit strategy, you want to be able to know what they are. We're going to show you how to inspect the properties with confidence and not just winging it. We're actually going to show you what to look for, what tools you need to bring with you. Now, we're not going to turn you into a general contractor overnight but we're going to show you what to look for and how to work with a general contractor to help you with those estimates so that you don't lose any money. We're going to show you how to evaluate every deal using the formulas that I just talked to you about, and then how to go ahead and start making offers with confidence. Plus, it helps. Over the next three weeks, whatever leads you have in there, it, we will help you structure those deals. Um, we'll help you make the offers, so you want to, bring, you want to get going as fa- quickly as possible. 
we're going to spend a good amount of time on how to wholesale the properties, what are the steps to wholesaling properties. So you can get that check for uh, $500, $5,000, $10,000 or more from a wholesale deal. And then we're going to show you how to estimate and manage the projects with confidence so you can eliminate management headaches. You can buy properties and hold them and have them bring in residual income month in and month out. I'm going to show you how to deal with contractors because that is an art and a science. Uh, you know, contractors can be your best friend or they can be your biggest nightmare. So obviously we want them to be your friend. We're going to show you the art of retailing. You know, what do you have to pay attention to when you're rehabbing so you can sell these properties really quickly? You know, a lot of our members, they are selling their properties in as short as 20 minutes and within 30 days or less. Even though the days on market for most houses are 90 to 120 days, if you do it right and you price it right, you can sell your properties really, really quickly. We're going to show you the keeper business, you know, the, what we call the landlording business or property management business or apartment ownership. We want to show you that because that's really your secret to being able to walk away from your job. And then we're going to go over your plan for creating wealth. We're going to set up a plan for you uh, so by the third session you will know going forward what are your goals, what are your plans, what are your strategies to focus in on. These are a couple of things that some members of ours have said about the program. Charlie came to us as an active contractor. He learned a lot. Bob Keyshawn, he, already, uh, he had already had a rental property. We helped him clean up that rental property, and, we had, uh, and he was able to sell it. By the way, if you have some rental properties, we'll help you fix those things up and either sell them or get better tenants in there and turn around a negative cash flow into a positive cash flow. Um, and uh, then Russ Majancic, I mean, he's the guy that runs an ad every single week. He will pay you up to $10,000 for a wholesale deal. He needs deals. He has a lot of money in, burning a hole in his pocket, and he um, needs, needs properties. So he learned a lot and got his start from CT RIA and actually got his start from this particular course. So, again, the dates on this are February 26th, March 5th, and March 12th. It's from 6 to 9. Um, <clears throat> if you have to miss a class, don't worry about it. You get a manual. It's an 86-page manual that goes right along with you. I just revamped everything on there. You also get, um, a whole, you get some wholesale contracts. You get some evaluation forms so you can figure out the numbers. And as I said, we're going to put you to work. We want you to go out and look at real estate. So here's the deal. Um, normally, uh, you know, if you go online now, I'm going to give you a coupon code. I want you to um, type in this code of online2014. Give me about five minutes. I'll put it up there. Online2014. It will save you about $25 off the website just because you came tonight. Uh, but we start tomorrow night. So uh, we would love for, to have you participate. Again, I just, you know, here's the thing. The people that I've seen have, um, that have participated in this course, this is the one that really got them started. Because, I, in fact, I was revamping this course uh, because I wanted to deliver this online, you know, throughout the year. And I went through it, and I'm amazed at how much information we give you in this little program. Literally, you could take this program and go make thousands of dollars, right? So we want you to get participate. We want you to participate with this. And then the other reason for coming in live is you get to network with all the other people that are in the class. Um, many, many people make friends. They find wholesale deals. Sometimes they find private lenders um, by showing up online. And as I said, whatever leads you have, bring them in. Whatever challenges that you currently have with your real estate, bring those in. In fact, I remember there was one guy, Patrick, who came in, and he had bought a, a commercial property. And he was losing money month in and month out because he couldn't rent it. And we showed him how to re-advertise everything, and now it's fully rented. And now he's on his second deal, second uh, single-family house deal. Um, and he, it all started by coming to find it, fix it, flip it, or keep it. I had another gentleman. He had a three-family house in New Haven. It was losing money for him. We showed him how to advertise for tenants how to clean things up, and he was able to turn that around. And then he eventually sold that property because he realized, listen, I could buy in a better neighborhood. Let me sell this property. Let me focus in on what we want to do. And throughout this, we will help you focus in on what you want to do in your real estate career. It, this thing will really accelerate you, you for your success. So I will uh, – so that's the uh, – um, so it, that's all I have to share with you. Again – Here's the code 
online two th- sorry yeah online 2014 if you type in that code it'll save you $25 or if you call in to 860-265-4414 and uh, we'd love to do that if you have any questions about what I talked about tonight send me an email to linda at ctria.com. I will answer uh, very quickly tonight. So again, if you have any questions, uh, linda at ctria.com. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow night. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, you are I promise you, you're going to learn a lot. It's going to make a big, big difference for you. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. I uh, wanted to do this quick and, uh, quick and quickly for you guys, so look forward to seeing you all tomorrow night. Have a great night, okay?